Hello my friends, this is Joshua Wenninger and welcome to part 38 of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Let's Play series. Now I've been noticing in quite a few of my videos that I've been saying the wrong part, like I've been like quote unquote a part behind. Um, that's because I kind of got confused by um, like I remember I said part 33 twice in like in two separate videos. So that was pretty much the reason. So I, I I hope you're okay with that. But now I know the true part again. So it's it's definitely part 38. So um, sometimes I do get confused. So please, but the um, the video title will always have the right part. So can't always trust um, the me and the video format but you can't always trust the title so yeah if you get confused just look at the town that that always says the correct part but anyway um let's not delay any further let's get right into this so first utilizing the support of Vylon cube equip spell cards and synchro summons can be used together even if Vylon Prism, etc. become fusion materials in the field, they can activate the effects of equip cards so you can attack with higher attack. So... I don't, I don't understand really what that's saying. Is that trying to say that like even if they're fusion material? Even if the tree has equipped spells, they can still be used as fusion materials. Because I know that is right. Because they are still f monsters on the field. Even if the tree has equipped spells. The only reason why they can't be used is like... Link... For link summons or exceed summons or synchro summons while they're equipped is because they need to actually be in the monster zone but like fusions are a little bit different because they can use um fusions um fusion materials from anyone on the field so i believe that's what it was saying i'm not exactly sure but it seems to me that's what it was saying so i'll go ahead and first Activate this and the cool thing is it's not hard once per turn so um, Yeah, might as well do this one and Then I can activate the handmaiden Send another handmaiden activate handmaiden again send another handmaiden and then activate my third handmaiden to send Oh, probably another link side lady. Yeah, that seems good best. Ooh. Actually, that's pretty good too. Okay, I th I'm going to send that one. And then I can activate another one. I'm probably go with the two graveyard centric monsters which is actually Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a hard once per turn effect. I think... Actually, I think... No, 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 I might as well do that and that. Okay. So, now Brilliant Fusion to Fusion Summon something. I'm doing this more for the effect than anything because it comes out with zero attack. Um. So, what's the best one... That's probably the best one, actually. Yeah, no, it's got to be this one. Okay, so now... Okay, so I'm... Okay, learning by... Is she as a no monster? Well, I'll use that. 
And then Lazuli. Wait. And then Sadani. And then I might as well put in defense because it has zero attack and defense. Wait, but isn't there a way? I don't know. Okay, so I'll add the Sadani to my hand. Oh yeah, you have to discard a spell in order to give it um attack and defense back, but that's not even it's not even permanent. It's only till the end of and it's quite a long time until the end of your opponent's turn. Oh yeah, my see Yeah, I might as well send to the graveyard. See and now I can now I can actually, hmm, until the end phase. Ah, uh, that's not even a quick, I might as well. Hmm, yeah. I mean, I think I'll go with Ruby since she has more attack. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and normal summon the Sardonyx. Yeah, no, I don't want to give Ruby more attack. Too bad it's not a quick effect. That would be so much better if it was a quick effect. So it's literally a dead card now at this point, Brilliant Fusion. Lily, the only reason why it's a continuous spell is to give the monster special summon by it. its attack and defense back until the end of your opponent's turn. So yeah, it's only for that. <laughs> oh, and also like if it leaves the field, you destroy the monster. I guess that's also another reason. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now I can um, banish this card and the Handmaiden to destroy. Mm. It's. Man, it's not a. You know what? I'm just going to go for it. Wait. Oh, I have another one. Okay, that that's actually good. Good. Now I can destroy both. Uh, David matter. Whatever. Um I don't want to normal summon it. Yeah, no, I might as well normal summon the Garnet and then this is game. What can I spell summon? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Let's just... Yeah, let's just battle. It's game. Now, that was a quick one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna have time for... Um... Definitely getting done with this, and maybe even... Um, getting started with... Or finishing up another one. I don't know like what the next one I have is yet. And this one is another Lona. So by using support from no monsters such as Unexpected Die and Rescue Rabbit, you can prepare fusion materials from your deck to prepare to preserve your hand and summon fusion monsters in succession. Sometimes you'll have multiple monsters with high attacks, so make sure the table isn't suddenly turned on you. Hmm. Okay. I think just in general, like, extra deck summoning is, like, much easier. Because, like, you don't have to worry about, like, bringing them to your hand. Like, they're just there. So, I don't know. Maybe... 
Then again, it makes me wonder, like, would I be good with Drytrons? Because they're a virtual deck. But maybe Drytrons is so, is so consistent that it doesn't even matter. I don't know. Like, because, like, I remember, like, in the, like, previous two parts, like, I was struggling so much for whatever reason with, uh, um... With, uh, um, that megalith. But I don't think I was struggling that much with the ruin and the mines. I don't know. I guess megaliths could be considered a lot more confusing since, like, they're, like, the monsters are actually the polymerization. So you gotta kind of think, like, okay, so, like, how am I going to activate this monster effect? And and their cost is kind of high because you kind of got to get rid of them into a in order to ritual summon. I don't know. Um. Oh right, yeah, and of course. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I got some good choices. Yeah, that's usually what people do, though. Like, the Swath Knight play, but... And uh, that's normally for like when you have a bunch of links and I don't think I have any links. Actually, I do have a link. Hmm. Then it might be worth it. Might be worth it. Yeah. But I don't know. Because I could, like... Hmm. I could do the Lay Brilliant to Master Diamond and then... That might actually be worth it. But the Seraphonite play seems really good. I think I'm gonna go with the... No, I'm gonna go... No, 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 I should go with the Lady Brilliant play. I think. Okay. Definitely that one. And then I can... Um, hmm. I mean, I guess I could go for... I don't know, Lapis? And then... Hmm. Okay, I'll go for another... I'll go for another Garnet. Yeah. Okay, and then this allows me to... I'll add the Lapis to my hand. And then I'll go ahead and absorb Fusion. I think I messed up. Yeah, I think it's fine. I could add the Gemnite Fusion. Yeah, I'll go ahead and go with the Gemnite Fusion. Hmm. I think I'll go with the Alexandrite, actually. I'll add that. 
And then I can... Hmm. I'm going to go with the Lapis Lazuli. Lapis. Send the Lazuli. And then... Fusion Summon. And then I'll go ahead and... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tribute itself off to special summon Brilliant Diamond, a uh, Massa Diamond, my bad. And then I can activate. Oh, I can't. Oh, it has to be level seven or higher. Hmm. Uh, Oh, wait. Oh, that's pretty good. Or lower. Wait, why can't I? Mm, I wasn't thinking. Okay. Um, for each special summon monster on the field, I think I'm going to go ahead and I might as well send off the, wait. Send to graveyard by a card effect. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, now I can put that back into my hand. Cool. You can tribute this card special in one gem knight no monster for me deck. I'm not gonna do that. But I will go ahead and do this. And then I can go into Phantom Quartz. And then I'll go ahead and add. Okay. Um. Hmm. I better add the fusion. Okay, and then this says from your hand or your side of the field. That banisher in the graveyard, that's pretty good. Okay, I think I'm gonna activate this now. Actually, I'm not sure if that was in there. Okay. Okay, I think I better do this so that I can special summon. Okay, what can I special summon though? Can I do... Yeah, I can probably do. Yeah, no, I should be fine. One gem knight plus one light. Do I have a light? Come on. How do I not have a light? Okay. Wow, none of these are lights. Okay. What the heck? One gem knight. 
Wow. Okay, Gem Knight Gauntlet. I do have a Gem Knight Gauntlet. Okay, so I can do it. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do this. So now I can... So... You know what? Think I better go with Zirconia. Yeah, and then I can shuffle back in the this one. Yeah. Select. Okay, and then I can also. Sh uh, I think I might as well shuffle back the Gemini Lady Brilliant too. Okay. Special some that. So now I can inflict fifteen hundred. Is it? Uh, you know, it's fine. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'll, s hmm. I'll go ahead and send the yeah. 1500. And then that should be good enough. Not even bring out Constellas. <laughs> yeah, I think like with this deck, it's literally impossible to do the FTK. Like because like I saw apparently you need like four specific cards in order to pull it off. Oh well, I'm not. You might, yeah, so like you might be able to pull it off in this game, but if like all of them are legal. I forget what the four specific cards are though. Seraphonite. Hmm. Okay. Where's all my lights? Hmm, that's it. Okay. Okay, so for each special summon. So now... Okay, I might as well do it. Okay, now I can do this. Three Gem Knight monsters. Yeah, might as well. Okay, so I better go with that one. I'll just do all the banished ones. Yeah. Ooh. 
that's ooh, that's really good now. Okay, so now Um I'll go with Zirconia. Now I can special summon their Lapis Lazuli. Cool. And then I'll go ahead and... I actually don't even need... Might as well. Yeah. And then I'll just monster born. Yeah, I might as well special summon out this Conia. And this should be game right here. So two turn kill, that's still pretty good. Okay. And this is how it's a two turn kill. I'll just send that one. Do I have any? Yeah. See? Two turn kill. Boom. Man, I wish it was like a trophy for like win by effect damage only. Cause like gem knights would be great for that. <laughs> Either like a, yeah, like a PlayStation trophy for that, but I'm not even sure if it would count if they did have one. Okay. But yeah, those are the two duels. Okay. So I ran out of time, but, um, the, seems like the glory of the Glide Beats is what I'll be doing in the next, oh, actually, yeah, I might as well finish this off. Okay, so. I'll go ahead and finish off the scenario for the Glaia Beast. Okay. Play. Since I no longer really care about like the um the Glaia Beast in active variance contest as if in response to voices of invisible specters spectators. I no longer care about the um about the secret packs that they unlock. Um because I pretty much have my decks already completed. One-on-one -on -one combat, platoon battles, sieges, naval battles. And when the excitement peaked, the seal that bound the bravest of the Glaia Beasts was broken. In close combat, platoon battles, they were the Glaia Beasts. Beasts proud of the iron physiques. In the large scale sieges, they were bird glaia beasts, most active in raiding parties and aerial assault. Oh, did I know that he was a bird? So then the link monsters. No, 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 not all the link monsters. But in the naval battles at the Coliseum, they were the glaia beasts of fish and sea serpent form who drew their prey down into the dark waters. And the deadly weapons they'd wielded. Battle machines and chariots were revived. Yeah, not all the Link monsters are birds because that Test Panther Link monster that's based off of Test Panther. The Colosseum regained its glory due to brave heroics of the Glad Beast. He's a panther. When the favor of the contest reached an epic crescendo, the gates of the Colosseum were opened and the terrifying death march commenced. Yeah, no, they're all over the place. Some of the fusion, yeah, not. 
none of the fusion share well some of the fusions may share calm uh an animal type but like definitely that's not like true of all of them so they're kind of all over the place between their all of their um what they are link fusion no exceed gliabies um or like main deck monster so okay so i think that's it so okay so i got the f that's pretty nice i got all those complete so can i do spectral slaying flames yeah, i might as well go through the end scenarios of the ones that i can go through okay i'll do this one too Though the world of humans had become peaceful, the battle between the Shirinui style and the Spectres continued. The Shirinui Samurai and the Spear of the Founder united to Shirinui Shogun Saga. He slashed a great many Spectres, but he could not eradicate them. The Shurinui Samurai was highly trained mentally and physically and possessed great skill, but they couldn't reproduce the grandeur of the Founder's battle prowess. To seal off the Spectres, comrades of the Shurinui style rushed to prepare the final measures. The specters that noticed this sieged upon the fort that acted as their base. Meanwhile, the Shirinui style were readying the Shirinui style Samsara. By combining Shirinui spirit master and Shirinui solitaire, they created a so called gate connecting their world and the spirit world. What is to be done with that gate in the cold atmosphere? The practitioner's chance reverberated. The specters surround the fort and gradually focus the siege. Also, the Mayakashis and the Shurinuis are related. At the peak of the practitioner's chance, the ultimate Shurinui style force appeared through the gate, the fountain apex. It was a form of Shirinui Sun Saga. The specters were terrified. Among the specters, some still remembered being felled by this young samurai. The power of Shirinui Sun Saga was tremendous as he cut down the remaining specters and successfully sealed them away. And so the war waged for hundreds of years between the Shirinui style and the specters came to an end. Okay, so there's that one. Cool, I complete another one. Ooh, it's called Fires of This World and the Next. Let's see what I have for this one. Okay, looks like I have a lock gate for this. I can't unlock it. So... Um... Oh, but looks like I need to... Looks like... Yeah, I have no choice but to do the um, final... Um, story scenario for this because I literally can't progress without that so I will and then I'll link all of these oh oh and then that gets me the oh that still won't be enough but oh well um and I'll just link all of these um lore based um storylines um I'll time st I'll, I'll make a timestamp for them 
as well like I've been making timestamps for these different categories I'll make this its own category for those who like don't really care about like who just want to see the duels the large war Walvo Giano army led by Dr. Gierk presented Giorgiano and the others with quite the struggle. Various gear units were wrecked and even the ever reliable Gear Gigant X was on the brink of powering down to, to drop in output. Will the Gears of Justice be defeated before the Gears of Evil? Was the rotation speed of the Gears of Justice inferior to that of the Gears of Evil? It couldn't be that they were out of gas and the pressure was too great. Just as all hope seemed lost, a gigant carrier trailing smoke rushes the scene gears of justice is it is now complete all hauler three gear giano shout in unison gear gear change at that moment the gigant carrier emits a great noise separating them merging with gear gigant x Feast your eyes on this, a top level elite gear unit. The ultimate gear weapon, Gears Unite, Gear Gear Gear, Gigant XG. Powered by three Gear Giano, Gear Gear Gear, Gigant XG's power was tremendous, quickly dispatching the hordes of War Giano. However, Dr. Gear suddenly disappeared without a trace. Dr. Gierk will surely strike again, but no matter how many times he returns, Professor Caruso and the Gear Warriors will surely prevail. Fight, Gear Giano! Never give up, Gear 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 Gigant XG! Is Gear 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 Gigant XG a real card? Someone can let me know down in the comments. Ah, shifting gears, okay. Oh, was that? Yeah, see, it only gave me 150 of that. I still need 50 more. But it did unlock... Digital bugs in cyberspace. The Steam di and, and this one, the Steam Dinosaurs. Okay, so I have three more new ones here. Okay, cool. So I can do one of these ones. Probably, yeah, it'll be digital bugs in cyberspace. So that'll be in the next part. Okay. But anyway, I'll go ahead and look at the um, secret packs real quick. But first, I'll um, s like do my outro. Um, so, thank you for all who stuck around for the... Um, um, for the duels and or the, um, um, those other ending scenarios. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And, um, consider ringing that notification bell for regular content. And I'll see you in the next one. And for the people who want to stick around for, um the pack opening I'll do that first and then I'll and then for those who want to stick around for the secret packs I'll go through those real quick and show you like um um where you can be on the lookout from those okay so so first the pack opening just to make sure I can get in and out, I'll just, um, I won't go through these one at a time, so sorry about having to move a little bit quicker, but I'll still, um, bring them up big for those of you who want to pause and read them can, 
cool malice doll of demise in hollow foil it's a pretty cool looking card Sniffus, Sishunder, Robin Goblin, Ordeal of a Traveler, Tornado Bird. Oh yeah, this one's kind of funny with the um, rollings because like what you can do, it's kind of like the Mind Crush scenario where like you don't actually have to reveal your hand. So like you can just be like wrong even if they did get it right. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of funny. Ryu Koki. Rampaging Rhinos, Quick Span Night. I mean, I probably wouldn't do it, but maybe like I don't know, because I don't. You know, like it. It kind of doesn't work unless you're like doing a manual simulator. Perform Maple Hip Hippo, Yokozuna, Sumo Spirit. But I definitely can have other things and um can do something else with this game for. April Fool's Day, the snake hair, Yashinoko, Noki, Red Medicine, Buster Rancher, Ring of Defense, Aquarium Lightning, Double Tie Team, okay, so that, there's those, okay, so now, I'll go through um, the secret packs for those who want to see them. Um, feel free to leave if you don't want to um, see it, though. I'll definitely make a separate timestamp for this as well. So, the three unlocked were Valiant Gladiabees from doing the ending scenario for Gladiabees, Fires of This World, and something for the um, doing the ending scenario for the Shirinui's. And then shifting gears for doing the ending scenario for the gear gears. So, what's good? Ab anything good about this one? Looks like it's pretty much all folks in on Gladiator Beast. So, like, and I don't think Gladiator Beast like really the best deck so like this you can probably like pretty much do the ending scenario and not really have to worry about it unless you really want to get the glad beast and maybe like hold off until you have a lot of gems and then this one focuses in on my Akashis and Shirinui's but it also has a few good generic um zombie support like um Mizuki and Gazoki which some decks might consider playing and then my Akashis are pretty good because they can like um pretty much with one card go into the um like level 11 guy the highest level guy so yeah I would say like unless you're really playing zombies or um playing like my Akashis or Shirinui's which I don't think they're the um most competitive decks here but they can be fun um so like but yeah Mizuki and like um Gazoki might be like more generic zombie sport that like it's kind of needed and then here's the um shifting gears secret pack okay looks like yeah, so it's pretty much gadgets, symphonic warriors, and gear gear. Maybe so. Okay, well, and all the green, red, yellow, and then there's also gold. Oh, and a few ancient gears too. Okay, there's a few ancient gears in here too. So, so like. Okay, so probably the most notable, yeah, so, it's, okay, um, it doesn't seem like, um, these are like, these are probably like, like average, more average, um, secret packs. More just if you want to like actually play those decks, but there doesn't seem to be any like, um, generically good for like, meta, for, for the meta decks out there. But yeah. 
<clears throat> okay, but so like just a reminder, Gladiabees. This is pretty much if you want to play Gladiabees, um, Fires of This World and the next is um is worth it. It's good if you want to play um Mayakashi's Shiranui's or get the those good generic main deck um zombie monsters, the Gazuki and the Mizuki if you need them. And then shifting gear is good for ancient gears, um gadgets or or gear gears. Well, I think no, and and also Gear Gigant X is pretty generic. Yeah, because that only calls for two level four machines, and like it's a first effect. It's pretty generic too. So if you're playing like, if you need it for like um adding level four machines, it could be good for that too. Oh, that is a real card. So it's. So Gear 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 Gigant XG says, um, yeah, hey, I'll um keep it up for those of you who want to read it. This might be one of the new ones because I don't think it, I don't think it came out of the same set with Gear Gigant X, at least in the regular TCG. And then Platinum Gadget is also pretty generic too. Um, not its last one, but like, um. This, the first effect allows you to special summon any level 4 low machine. So, actually, these two are pretty generic. So, and this one seems fairly generic too, except for its last effect. And then, is the gold and silver generic? It looks like the gold and silver um, has. At least it's first one up for each neck. And then they have the pretty much same effect. Yeah. So yeah. Actually, so like, yeah, these and the X deck monsters might work in like a lot of machine, different machine decks. So like you might like want to take a look if you're planning to build machines, see if you need those cards. You can feel free to pause if you'd... Um, like to look at them a little closer, and then I'll also um bring up bigger images of the um more generic uh, zombies that are pretty good. Mizuki, I don't think he's very good. Yeah, I don't think he's really used, but Mizuki and Gozuki are pretty good for like just a standard zombie sport. I would say. So yeah, those are the, the those two. And then Gladiabees is pretty much. I th I think it's like pretty much specific to Gladiabees. I don't I don't think I really saw anything generically good. But yeah. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys who who stayed for the secret packs. And if you did um, stay for an in-depth look, a little bit of an in-depth look on these secret packs, feel free to let me know if you're um, playing, if you want to like open any of these, if either of these three interests you. Okay, but yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next part. Bye everyone.